first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this video we will be solving a seating arrangement medium level that is set number 15 so before watching this medium level don't forget to watch our 25 easy level seating arrangements and then watch this medium level starting from set number one so if you don't have time or if you don't have proper internet facilities get our offline pen drive and try to watch all my youtube videos from 2016 till date in offline got it so now let me move on to the set number 15th question medium level so six people are sitting in a ground in a hexagonal shape so the hexagonal vertices are marked as A, B, C, D, E and F but not in same order. Just listen here what they are saying is this arrangement is based upon an hexagon right. So you know right hexagon will have six sides okay. So remember one thing here these points are called as vertices right so these points. So these points are called as uh, vertices and here some questions right? in some arrangement actually this arrangement is easy level arrangement but why I took in a medium level is because you need to understand this concept in some medium level that is some hexagonal shape arrangement question they will be talking about the person who are sitting in a vertices are facing the center. In some question, they won't say whether the person is facing center or the person is facing outside. They will always say that in a hexagonal shape, that is hexagonal shape in a ground, some person are sitting in a vertices. So you need to assume that the persons are sitting here. You don't want to think whether they are facing center or not facing outside. In case if they are saying like all these six persons are facing the center, then you have to draw the diagram like this, you know this is the center point will be if you draw a diagonal line so this comes as a center point right so based upon the question you have to solve that is based on hexagonal shape it's very rare question so in some uh, for example in some IT companies campus interviews or those kinds of scenarios we can able to see these kinds of question if you are preparing for bank exams uh, it's it's very rare 99 percentage the question will be based on circular arrangement square box etc so if you are a college student preparing for a campus interview, so these kinds of questions you can able to see in many campus interviews in the reasoning session. Got it? So now what they are saying is first point. So six sides of an hexagon all are same length, right? So all the sides will have a same length. So first point, A is not adjacent to B or C. So A is not adjacent to B or C. That means the person A is not an immediate neighbor of B or C. So similarly D is not adjacent to C or E. So B and C are adjacent. F is in the middle of D and C. Just see here the last point. F is in the middle of D and C right. So we can fix F here because it, this can be D and this can be C. So F is in the middle of D and C. There is an another possible diagram also right. So we can uh, draw another possible like this F, D and C. Understood or not? Because they have said that F is in the middle of C and D. So we can say that F is in the middle of C and D or C and D. Both the cases. But both will be correct. You don't want to worry about it. Why? Because here they didn't say that all the person are facing the center like that. They are just sitting in the vertices. So better you can draw both the diagrams. But the question they have asked under this passage is like uh, O is sitting opposite to O. So in both the cases you will get the same answer. Not to worry about it. So and uh, we F is in the middle of D and C. Yes, F is in the middle of C and D. And another point what they said is B and C are adjacent. So if B and C are adjacent, that is neighbors. So I should fix B here. In this case, I should fix B here. And uh, the next point is D is not adjacent to C and E. So D is not adjacent to C and E. So if D is not adjacent to C and E, I can't able to fix E here, then this should be E. So similarly, I should not fix E here, then this should be E. What is the other letter that we have? It was A, right? So A and A. According to the first point, where A is not adjacent to B and C. So A is not adjacent to B and C. Similarly, A is not adjacent to B and C. That's it. So consider this as possible diagram 1 and possible diagram 2. So the question will be like uh, whether the person E is opposite to O. So E is opposite to F. So D is opposite to E. In both the cases you can see D is opposite to B. In this diagram also D is opposite to B. A is opposite to C. In this diagram also A is opposite to D. So both the diagram are similarly same. You don't want to worry about it. Some students will ask me that whether the values, the 
options will change no options will not change because the question will be like which person is opposite to which person which two person are sitting nearer that's it because this question they will not ask you like a right hand side second person who is sitting why because this arrangement is not based upon who is facing the center if c is facing the center f is facing the center in those cases the answer might vary but here they are not at all talking about the, whether the person is facing center or not they are just only talking about all the six person are sitting in the vertices right so you don't want to worry about facing center outside the center and for in uh, odd level question i have only one question which is odd level that is based on hexagon so i can solve that question in the odd level seating arrangement not here on those and that uh, while solving uh, that question i will teach you how to solve if the person are facing center outside etc but not here just need, you guys need to understand the concept of hexagonal shape arrangement that's why i have taken this question as a medium level set number 15 got it so this will be the answer for set number 15 so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to watch my remaining seating arrangement equations so thank you so much bye